Nisha said, keep your apology. She does not want it. Save it for the birds. So guys, yesterday, Talisa released another apology to Misha. It was like, I don't know, maybe a five, six page notes thing long. Uh, and then Misha responded to that. And this is what Misha said. <laughs> yeah that's what she said and she said what she said i'm not pressed on it neither should none of y'all because realistically speaking in any given circumstance if somebody does you wrong you do not have to accept their apology especially if the first apology was so whack the second one is more of a oh i've been dragged I don't, i'm sick of being dragged let me just say sorry again and let me say it in a proper way no she don't care we don't care like i'm not even i'm not even pressed on talisa but it's like we don't care like me she said you said what you said and you said it the first time no backsies it's not necessary it's not necessary because clearly it's not a genuine apology i'm sorry in my personal opinion it's not a genuine apology so in her second apology she said that she made the videos because she was reacting to online um, death threats and violence against her family which nobody should be doing of course but she said that's what she made that sec that first video sorry um in response to that doesn't really make sense because me personally if people are dragging me for something oh i'm going to be super apologetic i'm going to be like i hold my hands up i'm so sorry da, da, da. but she went on the defense and it's a weird thing because her going on the defense made it worse so you would think if she was trying to get out of that sticky situation she would have been on the other side and would have been super apologetic i just don't really understand the train of thought like for me if i feel like i've done something extra extra wrong and i'm going to be in trouble for it i'm going to be apologetic i'm not going to be defensive but that's just me additionally she said that when she sent the first video out she sent nisha a separate apology god only god knows what that apology said but whatever the apology was the video completely negates it because in the first video that she made she was just waffling she was still sticking to her story she wasn't even apologetic for real like she was saying i'm sorry but i'm sorry but i'm sorry however like there was no true apology and even if she did do it the video was like three minutes long i can't even remember the apology because she just kept on trying to explain why it was the reason why she did what she did and it's like sis it's not we don't need your explanation just run the apology and keep quiet you're just you're just talking so much and you're not really saying anything so in this statement and the previous video that talisa made she said that it wasn't about race now she can continue to reiterate that which is fine that's her prerogative that's her opinion fine but there needs to be something about unconscious bias like that's a thing people can be unconsciously doing things without knowing you know what i mean so even if she doesn't per se see it as that it can be perceived as that and that's what she needs to apologize for so even if it wasn't racially charged I would personally say that that wasn't my per se intention, but I can definitely recognize that that was the, indeed the case. And of course, maybe unconscious bias, because I'm not gonna lie, like, I know she called herself feisty in this uh, uh, apology, but for me, when I typically hear feisty, I really hear it with black women, and it's usually not like, oh, she feisty, like, you know what I mean? You know when people call like Hispanic girls or Latin girls spicy, it's like, oh, like, she's like, she's like, uh, you know what I mean? It's not ne really a negative thing, it's really like, oh, she's like really confident and she's sexy and stuff like that. But when a black girl gets feisty, it's like, it's a negative, even though she did describe herself as feisty. I'm still, I'm still not here for the, the correlation. Another thing she said in the statement was that we are both strong women and that maybe we should have found common ground on stuff like that. And it's like, what Tilly's just trying to do now? She's trying to do that whole thing like, oh, we're the same, so understand where I'm coming from and stop being mean. And first of all, Misha's not even being mean. That's other people on Twitter and stuff like that. So that's, you know what I mean? That's not even Misha's problem. Misha, that's not what Misha's doing. Um, but... I think, like Misha said, stop comparing, yeah? We're, not, we're different women because, like Misha, and I feel like I can comfortably say at that age, I wouldn't be behaving like that. I wouldn't draw someone out like that in public. Like, for me, personally, if you're going to say something to me, if you're going to criticise me, please don't do it in front of people because you're going to get a different reaction than if you do it in private. So, and I've always been like that. I've always been like that. I just, I've always, because I know what I would like done onto me. So it's that same thing. You give it that same energy. And I feel like she's just really trying to find common ground. Um, but it's a bit, it's a little bit too late. 10 years, it's 10 years old. Go by. To be fair, in the statement, she did seem to get some understanding. But it's still like, I, I don't know, Tisa, I really don't care. I re actually just really don't care. Um, 
what annoyed me about in this statement again she's still reiterating her position saying that she felt like she was under threat and someone was uh saying something that Misha had done or Misha had said to that person and that person got really upset but it's like you need to stop mentioning that part because you're negating the apology this statement is way too long an apology does not need to be this many characters this many words this many pages it's just not necessary it means you're talking too much it means you're explaining too much explaining is not apologizing explaining is explaining so it, it it's just whoever wrote this is just a clown so even though misha said the uncle toms that helped her write this they kind of didn't do a good job because she's still explaining her position she is trying to get some sort of understanding but a lot of people don't want to understand and yeah that's unfortunate but we don't care i actually don't care like you're just saying i'm sorry but i'm sorry but and that's what i keep on hearing and i'm just not here for for the statement i'm really not to so you need to really fix i feel like i need to make a video telling people how to apologize because the way i've just been seeing it in 2020 it, this ain't it this really ain't it Honestly, just say i'm sorry and go and i understand you wanted to be a protector but you don't do it you actually also abused your power you've been in a position of authority and embarrassed her so i understand the whole like oh i want to stand up for my girl or blah, blah 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 but like the way you went about it was just so wrong and for me i feel like because me should basically didn't win because of that i feel like she almost kind of done that so her group could win because realistically, I didn't really care about Little Mix then and I don't care about them now. Don't at me. I don't care. It's just what it is, what it is. Um, but her doing that really made... Like, you wanted to maybe bring Misha. You said that she was arrogant and stuff. You wanted to level her out. You made her this big. You made her this big after you did that. So you took it out of control. So I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. She goes on further to try to find uh, common ground in childhood and stuff. Like, sis... <laughs> We're doing too much talking again we're just we're just talking too much we're just talking too much another thing she said that was just weird and like it, it, it she clearly is not apologetic yeah because she still wants to be defensive she said i do however feel you left out what our specific issue was about and left my intentions a lot more uh, open to interpretation like sis you're not getting you're still being on the defense we don't care about that people are gonna take anything and run with it yeah that's just what social media is people are gonna have their opinion on anything so it's not about xyz we don't care about your opinion we don't we don't we don't, we don't care yeah we actually don't care so this is you kind of low-key blaming misha for all the backlash you've been getting it's not misha's problem misha said her truth that's it Misha said her truth, yeah? And that's how she felt in that moment. She felt like it was charged. She felt like it was premeditated. That's her opinion and she's entitled to it. So she didn't misinterpret anything. That's for you to defend yourself. And if I was you in this moment, I would just say, I'm sorry. It's not every day you want to you wanna come to your own defense. Sometimes you just got to let it go. Because in this moment, she should have let it go. This would have died down earlier if she would have just simply let it go. And then I find this really, really weird. She brings up, so Gary's been saying, or has said previously, that he feels that the producers have manipulated drama. Then Talisa is now basically saying, Gary and I had different producers. Um, mine weren't manipulative. Why are you standing up for producers that nobody cares about? We don't know these people's names. Why are you running to their defense? That's not even the crux of what you're supposed to be speaking about. She's all over the place. She is all over the place. This, that's what I'm saying. This apology is too long. She's waffling. And clearly by this stupid statement it's waffling we don't care about whether the producers manipulate you or not because you're grown so you shouldn't be in no in no bs you know what i mean you're grown you see how gary wasn't really in any bs because he's grown he don't have to do all that funny funny so i don't know why she's standing up for producers that ain't nobody calling out by name so long story short she apologizes i feel like she apologized 10 times in this but again if she would have made it a lot more shorter she could have apologized maybe twice um so yeah talisa i really hope you just stop talking about it now it's really boring. We've Misha now has said she don't want it. Again, the apology wasn't for me, but if it was, I don't want it. I don't care for it. I'm not interested. I'm very, very disinterested. What she needs to just do is say nothing so it can die down because her talking about it is making it even worse. Whoever wrote this foolishness or helped her write it, it they did a really poor job. Honestly, PR people need to start like they need to do better because they're actually taking the Mickey out of their star or out of their their clients because this is this is not this is not it. This is this. this ain't it um but yeah she needs to just be quiet and i actually feel bad for her a little bit because let's think about it because louis doesn't have instagram or twitter he ain't getting drawn out properly louis needs to get drawn out for real but because he's not on social media maybe because he's older or whatever he's we're, we're so focused on talisa we ain't focusing on louis but remember we need to remember louis is a part of it too 
he is definitely a part of it too so he needs energy too but of course he, he's, he hasn't spoken out about it he's not going to because he doesn't have social media and that's that again he could really release a statement but he's probably thinking lord i'm seeing what happened to lisa, to, to lisa i'm just gonna say nothing is gonna die down because everything does die down um but yeah to lisa stop please we've had enough you've said enough you've wrote enough you know what i mean i swear that 2020 is just full of so many apologies girl i am tired and just one last thing this is what she said in her previous video that i haven't commented on because i didn't make a video about it i feel like non-black people need to stop saying that they have connections to Africa or to black people. First of all, there's a difference between being African and black, yeah? So Talisa saying that her dad was raised in the Congo or something like that, that has nothing to do with anything. We don't care. First of all, that's him anyways. That's your dad, one. But two, that doesn't mean anything. And also people being like, oh, I was born here or da da da. That doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. So please, people need to stop using it as a crutch for it to mean like, oh, I'm just, just say I'm, I'm anti-racist and go about your business. Stop trying to bring up, oh, that's, my best friend's black and that. No, leave that one alone. Le oh, I was right, I was the only black girl in my group. No, let's, let's just, I know you're trying to become relatable, but it's not really, because we've heard it so many times. It's like, mm. so no, just say I'm anti-racist and nasty. Just all this other this one african again african and black is two different things so yeah thank you guys for watching this video please continue to like comment and subscribe i really appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video